Hey guys, so for today's video I did a fall makeup tutorial and I played a couple of tunes that I've been into recently. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please give the video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe while you're down there and my social media will be down there below if you guys want to check it out as well. Alrighty guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a fall makeup tutorial, also like a updated makeup routine. I've been doing my makeup differently lately, so I'm going to be doing that. So I'm going to start off by priming. I'm going to be using the Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer by Tarte. And then I'm just going to be putting this where I have pores. Alrighty, so for my foundation, I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Primer and the Too Faced Born This Way in Light Beige. So I take about two half pumps of the It Cosmetics Primer and then take one pump of the foundation and mix that together. So I mix a primer into this foundation because I find that the foundation goes a lot longer and then it just makes my skin a lot smoother. I feel like the primer just kind of helps the foundation sink into your skin a little bit more. Alrighty, so for concealer, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape and Light Medium. So I'm using Light Medium to just conceal first, and then I use a different concealer to brighten. So I'm going to cream contour with the Chanel Tan de Soleil Bronzer. And then to apply it, I use a Morphe M436 brush. It's a dual fiber brush. Now I'm going to take the Kylie Skin Concealer in Bone to highlight. Alright, to set my under eye, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the La Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Alrighty, so now I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. Usually what I use is the e.l.f. eyebrow kit in dark. I'm literally out. So I'm going to try to use whatever's left. It's like right here. And then I'm going to set my eyebrows with the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel in the grind. Okay, let's, let's play some tunes. for a warm tone cut crease like I'm not I'm still like not sure I'm gonna start off with like the base and then work my way from there but I know that I'm gonna go into the morphe dare to create palette I'm gonna be taking this dark purple shade and then this burgundy maroon shade and then I'm also gonna go into the P Louise palette and I'm thinking of using Queen or start off mm -hmm. so I'm gonna go in with a morphe m514 brush I'm gonna pick up that maroon color. I'm gonna start on the outer edge of my eye, putting it into my crease. I'm gonna put it onto my outer corner, and then I'm gonna try to like flick this up just a little bit. So now I'm gonna take this dark purple shade, I'm gonna darken out the outer corner. So now I'm gonna go into the P. Louise palette, I'm gonna take Contour and Bestie. Okay, now I'm going to take Queen and I'm going to blend out this outer edge. So now I'm going to go back into the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to cut my crease. So I'm going to take Charm and set my eyelid. I'm just going to 
gonna line my lash line and I'm gonna do a really thick liner. So for lashes, I applied the Batty B Lashes in Instaho. Now I'm gonna go into the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Sculpting Blush Palette and I'm gonna take this bronzer. Now I'm gonna take Max Peaches Blush. Now I'm going to take the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Power in Dim Light. And I'm just going to put this onto my forehead. And then my chin and my lip. Now for highlight, I'm going to be using the Anastasia M. Reezy Highlight. Alrighty, so lastly for lips, I used the Morphe Lip Liner in Backseat Love. And I outlined my lips first. I didn't overline that much, only on the left side of my lip. And then I went in with the MAC Lip Liner in Whirl. And I darkened out the outer corners of my lips just to add a little bit of a shadow. And then lastly, over top, I applied the Fenty Beauty Balm Gloss, as always, because this is... This is my favorite. And that completes the look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.